what is going on guys it has now been a couple of days later and uh we got this radiator unbent and pretty solid uh we got the whole car taken apart these are what all the valves look like and hopefully the seller will get back we still haven't ordered any parts yet because we haven't got his confirmation yet but in the meantime i'm going to continue to take this chain sprocket off and hopefully be able to take the tire off of the rim Alrighty guys, so as you can see, we just took the tire off and we also got the sprocket off right over here. It's got shark teeth on that. So we're definitely gonna be ordering in a new chain sprocket. So now we're gonna be focusing on taking the tire off the rim. Alright, so we just got the parts. We got the Wiseco cam chain. We got the hot start parts, we got the air filter, and we got the new valves. So this is what the new valve looks like. This is what the old valve looks like. This is what the old valve looks like for the intake. This is the new seal intake. Alright, so this is the before. We're gonna get some uh a diamond grit and we're gonna grind the valves. Yes, make this we're valve to flush. Yes. So, this, not fully done. This one. Oh, look at that. Ooh. <laughs> this is what you want your valves to sound like. They're seating perfectly now. You can barely hear it. Nice crisp sound. I mind taking that one out. This is what the seat's gonna look like, very shiny. And the valve is gonna look like this. Ooh. Very shiny. Perfect. <laughs> that's, how you, that's how you laugh a valve. <laughs> it has been a couple of days later, and uh, as you can see, we finally got the tire off of this old rim. Next, we're gonna try and get all those spokes out of there with the impact drill, just waiting on a couple tools to start getting that off. The goal is to try and get the hub so we can use the new spokes in this box with the new rim and put the old tire on because it's still got a decent amount of tread on it. Also got new, two new tubes just in case. Over here, which we're going to be working on really soon, the carburetor because it's just in the way as I'm trying to get these piston stir clips out. Once that's done, hopefully when my tools arrive later today, I'm going to start taking this off and then we're going to put the tire on.
Well guys, that was the end of the little carburetor time lapse. Next, we're gonna be installing the uh, brake lever and the grips and the throttle cable. I finally got these grips on. Pretty solid. I also got the throttle working. But the bad news is I can't seem to get any of these spokes out except one. Cut these spokes so that we can get this hub out because I do have extra spokes. And good news, we also got the piston. I finally start rebuilding this motor. So we're just gonna assemble the bike once we get this piston out. Once that's done, we're gonna start unpackaging these boxes and installing them on this bike. All right, so it has been like an hour later. So it turns out it was a little bit easier than I thought. And as you can see, we also got this side cover out. And I also used a flywheel puller to get the flywheel off. It's much easier than using a method at home. Save yourself so much more time. And uh, now we're gonna finally break into this white scope piston kit. See, we got the rings, the white scope piston. And before I actually ordered a Vertex, but it was a big board piston. So I had to return that and get a Weissco. I think it was a good decision anyway. I can always trust Weissco pistons. It comes with a wrist pin, sir clips, piston rings. We just put the new piston on and the new Weissco cam chain. It's all looking really good. And I just got this cylinder all cleaned and oiled up. So now we're gonna be ready to put this cylinder onto the piston or onto the engine. Alrighty guys, so I just made a bit of a mistake. I uh, seem to have broken a piston ring while installing it onto the cylinder. So I'm pretty mad about that. But in the meantime, I'm just gonna install the valves now because I just got the new valve seals in this kit. So we just got finished installing the valve springs and the cotter valves. So it's all good to go in there, we're all set. But now we're doing a leak down test for the exhaust valves. All you do is add water and you wait for around five minutes. And the goal is to not have any water leak through the valves, which these are not, which is great to know. And I'm gonna do the same thing for the intake valves and then we're all good to go. It's been a couple of days later. As you can see, we got all the spokes out. It's got a nice crack in it. These are the old spokes. And this is what the new rim looks like. Looks absolutely amazing. Super shiny. And we did use the old hub with this. And I did have to true it, which basically means you slide the axle through the wheel and you spin it around. And if it wobbles, then you have to tighten or loosen the spoke to make sure it's even so it has no wobbling. So I did that. It's all done. I used a torque wrench so everything is in spec. The only thing we have to do left is to slap the tire on. We finally got the piston into the cylinder. That thing looks absolutely fresh in there. We got the tire on, but I think there is still a small leak, but you know, that's what happens sometimes. In the meantime, I'm gonna continue rebuilding this engine and hopefully getting it fired. It's been a couple of hours later. As you can see, <laughs> we got the whole tube destroyed. We may be dropping this off at the shop later just because I cannot deal with tubes. I'm just not good at installing tires. And over here, as you can see, this is what the whole engine is looking like. Looks really solid in there. You can't see, but it's in time. I know I timed it correctly. This noise we heard in the part one series, that noise, that's the auto decompression mechanism. So thanks to one of your guys' help and a little bit of research, apparently that sound is completely normal. So I guess the only thing we have to do left is slap on the subframe and the tire when it comes back from the shop. All right, so it's been another couple of hours later. As you can see, we got all the plastics on and the subframe. So the carburetor's finally been attached. And now we're ready to install the tire because we just got it back from the shop. So let's install the tire.
right, ladies and gentlemen, this is the moment of truth. We finally got all the plastics on. Everything is assembled. Tire. It's not popped. Moment of truth. We turn the fuel on. Let's give it a couple compression kicks. guys there you have it we are finally done with the 05 250r had a fun time building it test riding it and uh yeah please like and subscribe comment down below if you want to see more dirt bike flips like this and uh i'll see you guys in the next video peace